this is a dog whistle. Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. It's funny how we don't pay attention to certain things until someone says something that actually rings a bell inside of you. How many times have we heard this? Dog whistles. Dog whistles. The dog whistles. Dog whistle. Dog whistles. Dog whistle. Dog whistle. Dog whistle. Dog whistle. Dog whistle. Dog whistle. This is dog whistle talk. Usually, I'd hear this. Now, as a visual thinking person, meaning I think a lot of times in pictures or can picture what someone speaks about, whenever someone would use that phraseology, I saw this. It doesn't even work. until I saw this. Leonidas Johnson tweets, if racist dog whistles are meant to be heard only by racists, then it's quite interesting how progressives seem to be the only people who can hear them. Where's the lie in that tweet? Then thought to myself, hey, yeah, what am I worried about? I don't have any idea what either side is talking about half the time. I mean, if they couldn't hear them, how could they explain them to the rest of us and keep pointing them out to us? Are they trying to tell us that they're trained dogs? If we go to the Merriam-Webster site for the definition of the word dog whistle, we actually see both definitions of this word. Definition of a dog whistle. A whistle to call or direct a dog, especially one sounding at a frequency inaudible to the human ear. They actually make both now. Two, politics. An expression or statement that is, has a secondary meaning intended to be understood only by a particular group of people. And of course they give some definitions here. Democrats and liberals sometimes have gone to ridiculous lengths to portray speech by Republicans and conservatives as dog whistles responsible for inciting unstable people to carry out violent acts. Examples of dog whistle in a sentence. But think about the dog whistle that in some instances has been far louder. NBC Meet the Press, November 29th. I don't know who said that. I think I might have found it. I think it was Jake Tapper. Now they have a second page with regards to what the political meaning of a dog whistle is. The earliest and still most common meaning of dog whistle is the obvious one. It is a whistle for dogs. Dogs' ears can detect much higher frequencies than our puny human ears can, so a dog whistle is nothing more than an exceedingly high-pitched whistle that canines can hear, but that we cannot. Figuratively though, next to this cute little doggy picture, Figuratively, a dog whistle is a coded message communicated through words or phrases commonly understood by a particular group of people, but not by others. Given that the term dog whistle has been around for over 200 years, it seems rather odd that it only developed a figurative sense recently. And I'll show you how recently. Who was it that had just become president around that time? Before that, I think that back in 2013, I do believe that was the date of the TED talk that I saw, there was a gentleman by the name of Ian Haney Lopez. I'm sure I'm probably uh, pronouncing that incorrectly. Sorry. That did a, he, like I say, he did a TED talk about dog whistle politics. Now his main theory and the thing that he claimed on many of the interviews that he did after this TED talk was, or seemed to be, that this tactic wasn't necessarily racist, but it was used nonetheless to win elections. So in order to give you that 
sense of saying it but not saying it and they can if someone calls them out on it they can say hey well I didn't say that particular person or that particular group but supposedly people know what you mean and that's the dog whistle it's still not right though in my opinion the pundits took this tactic and actually used it as the exact opposite of what mr lopez actually described it as then uh, attributed it to any phrase they felt could be pushed at the time to use it against 45 and his supporters claiming that such words and phrases were proof that they were all ists if you will now, if you know anything at all about training animals or training a dog, you will know that the actual use for a dog whistle is merely used to train a dog. It doesn't drive them crazy. It doesn't make them come to you if you haven't trained them that way to begin with. Uh, it doesn't make them run away from you. It doesn't hurt their ears. It's literally uh, similar to what the dog whisperer would use with his little pssst. It's a noise that they associate with something that you have taught them or are teaching them to do. And that noise actually triggers them to do such an action. These folks that use this term are insinuating that anyone using these dog whistles are calling the trained to do what they were trained to do. Which means that everybody would be sort of sleeper agents maybe? So essentially, they're making it as if this man had some kind of secret language. His supporters were sleeper agents for far-right activism or any other ism they want to attribute this word to. This is exactly how we know they made it up to begin with, because they are the only ones that can hear the so-called dog whistles to begin with. In fact, when I hear someone use that phrase in conjunction with something that they want to make sound bad, I'm like a dog. <laughs> So literally, the folks that use this term are insinuating that anyone using these dog whistles are calling the train to do what they were trained to do. In this case, giving some kind of I'm with you, wink wink, to those out there that these propaganda puppets profess to be bigots. Now, I wonder why they would gaslight folks in this way. Maybe because it's actually how activists on their side act, and this is the way they want it? If you listen carefully to these pundits, especially ones that love the buzzwords and repeat them like a computer program to assist you, they actually tell you exactly where they're coming from. They can portray the other side acting the same way. They can go, see? See how bad we told you these people were? See how terrible they are? That's why we can't fall into any of those kind of traps. Hell, and why not? They don't see themselves as doing anything wrong. They basically are just reading lines and getting paid millions to do so. You can't blame them for that. They've been programmed to program you. I guarantee if this wasn't such a lucrative living, no one would do this or in good conscience say stuff like this tweet from MSNBC Hee Haw as Larry Elder put it, from Joy Reid. I'll say it again. People on the right would trade all the tax cuts for the ability to openly say the N-word like in the good old days. To them, not being able to be openly racist and discriminatory without consequences is oppression. Trump is the avatar for this freedom. Well, first of all, Trump's still living in her head. He has been out of office for almost two months now, and they're still complaining about him? Secondly, Miss Reed, that was pure projection. You neither know anything about, nor do you speak for any of us. I'd really like to know what science fiction you base your stories on and even your life. These things about the secret languages and the dog whistles sound like science fiction novels to me you're literally trying to convince people that a man that's been in real estate for 40 years or more all of a sudden has this secret language or this secret dog whistles to these followers who weren't his followers before his campaign in order to turn them into ravenous bigots give me a break 
If you truly believe the now figurative usage of this word, you are either paranoid. Keep that guy away from my cocaine. Not a very deep thinker, which is even worse. Just a. And you have zero idea what this word even means. I hope this video helps you a little bit because I just showed you the definitions. I also noticed that this dog whistle rhetoric is never attributed to speech by the Democrats or the leftists either. Uh, if I don't know any better, or if I didn't know any better, I would think mostly peaceful protests were more of a dog whistle to that side than anything that the right has ever said. So in that case, are they calling conservatives or 45 supporters trained dog now too? So which is it? Are you guys the trained dogs are, or are we the trained dogs? If they can hear it and point it out when no one else on our side actually seems to be able to hear the same things or even again, <laughs> sounds like they are the trained dogs or at least trained enough to make this shit up in yet another attempt to shame anyone who doesn't tow their line. Oh, and by the way, wasn't PETA just complaining about something like this? Hey PETA, are you paying attention? Dog whistles. 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 Dog whistle. Dog whistle. This is dog whistle talk. I do hope that you enjoyed my video today. Please make sure you support my work by subscribing, liking, commenting, and of course, sharing will get the most attention. A donation would be the ultimate, and your donation will still get you a unique gift from yours truly. All my links are below. Click on a few of them, will ya? Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time.